and the worth of people. So this whole series on money gets at this really fraught space. Money and narcissism is actually probably one of the sources of some of the most incendiary conflicts and confusion of these relationships. The, the whole issue of money and narcissism doesn't make a lot of sense. So let's break this issue down, that this is how they measure the value of other people. Now, in many cases, especially in more grandiose presentations of narcissism, there is a real elitism. Narcissistic people measure people by where they live, what they drive, what they wear, and how much money they make. For folks who are narcissistic, it is hard for them to measure people on anything but something that's really countable or quantifiable. They aren't going to look at people through a lens of goodness or kindness or respect. For narcissistic people, it's all about status. And money is the clearest symbol of status in our society. It's actually quite interesting to watch a narcissistic person fawn. Now we know so many of us do it with the narcissist ourselves, but when somebody has a lot of money, it's the narcissist who will be the one who's the fawner. It's actually quite interesting to watch a narcissistic person fawn. So many of us are the ones who fawn over the narcissist, but when someone has money, it's the narcissist who becomes the fawner. It's actually like watching a kind of twisted magical transformation to see them going from being a grumpy, arrogant, rageful jerk with you to ooing and eyeing and hanging on to every word of a wealthy person. Huh? In some ways, it's a very difficult moment for the narcissistic person because they often envy the wealthy person. But yet at the same time, for a person who's narcissistic, their inadequacy is bubbling up because the wealthy person is what they want to be or has something they want. And then on top of that, the narcissistic person's grandiosity gets fed by being in proximity to that person. It's very confusing for them. And interestingly, <laughs> after being with that fancy wealthy person, the narcissistic person is more likely to be rageful towards you after that encounter or with anybody that they perceive as just being mere mortals because the narcissistic person's insecurity was activated by being with the wealthy person and they expended a lot of bandwidth fawning over them. So you can see it's a dance, right? But the narcissistic person always measures people by money. And here again is where you can't win. Odds are that they probably devalue you because you don't make enough money. Now, if you did make a lot more money than them, then they will be sullen and angry and insecure and victimized because you make more money than them. You can't win. It's for this reason that it is also all but impossible to build your career up on a narcissist watch. If you're already successful or doing what you do when you met them, then you can keep it going because that's what they knew you do. But if you were to try to build something up from the ground up while you were in the relationship, you will be invalidated in your quest all the time. Your sense of self and your belief in yourself will have been eroded so much that it will feel impossible to envision and execute your dream if you try to execute it <sighs> while you're in a relationship with a narcissist. But another key dynamic to keep in mind is that narcissistic people also view people through the, through the perspective of how much those other people are costing them. What does it mean to be a featherless, two-legged, linguistically conscious 